Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Samantha and I'm back with a brand new video. If you have been following along and watched a couple of my new videos for 2023, I did share that one of my goals this year is to expand the topics of what I share about on this channel. Always going to love luxury on this YouTube channel. That will never change and luxury will still be the main niche here. The thing that we talk about the most, but at the same time, I do want to expand and start talking about other topics and just to share more about what I know and hopefully these tips can help you guys as well. So I wanted to share in this video the equipment that you need in order to start a YouTube channel of your own. Several social media sites, so I'm on Instagram, TikTok, but I always, always, always say that YouTube is my absolute favorite out of all of them because I feel so much more connected to you guys and just the type of content that I create here is a lot more raw and less curated and it's just a lot more fun. If you guys didn't know already, I have had this particular YouTube channel for close to two years but actually longer. So I used to film videos on makeup and i actually used to post a lot of videos where i would do celebrity interviews so i interviewed like emily hayne she was in fargo and now she's going to be in a new netflix series i also interviewed Dwayne howard that was in the revenant if you don't remember the revenant or haven't watched it before it's the movie where leo dicaprio gets like he kills a bear and then he hides in the bear I, I can't remember this is not something that will cost you thousands and thousands of dollars you actually don't need to spend that much money to get the equipment that you need in order to start a youtube channel it is fairly simple so let's dive into it so first up you need a camera and i personally use my canon g7x that's what's filming right now i can't remember the exact amount of years but i absolutely love this camera it is the perfect camera for vlogging or filming videos where you need to see yourself because it has a flip screen and i actually have a review of this camera that i filmed and posted so long ago honestly i need to film an update for the review of the canon g7x primarily to take my instagram photos before i jumped back into youtube and it does really really great stuff like great work if you're just trying to film vlogs or take instagram photos in low light conditions we'll dive into the capability of the iphone in today's age later on in this video and if you really dive into my youtube archives i don't suggest that you do but if you're curious before the canon g7x i actually owned a nikon camera it was a nikon dslr i think it was the d 3300 beautiful red body because it was just like I, I just love the color red and you could interchange the lens to a 50 mm to a 35 mm the only thing with that is that i don't think that it was a vlogging camera because there was no flip screen functionality I did use it for a lot of my earlier interviews that i've done with other people before or for just work that i've done in my corporate job but once i switched over to the canon g7x i am a fan the nikon was great if you're shooting primarily photos i think but if you're looking to start a youtube channel i thought it was game changing and really really important to be able to see myself as i was filming unless of course you are filming youtube videos without a face in it then that makes things i guess a little bit easier do you need a camera in order to start a youtube channel absolutely not technology has changed so much since when i first started blogging now the iphone like this is my iphone it is the iphone 11 Pro Mac and I am just astounded by the quality of the camera so I can shoot in 4k and my Canon G7X I think the highest it can go is 1080 so when I'm filming certain types of videos that I want to post on like social media as an example like my Instagram outfit videos I usually use my iPhone to take those videos instead of the camera because it's just easier to bring around it's more compact and I always have my cell phone with me and so if you're looking to start a YouTube channel and you don't really want to spend money on a Canon or a Nikon or like a Sony camera an iPhone does a fantastic job on its own so many of my shopping vlogs like my luxury shopping vlogs with my iPhone because it's like more subtle, less intense than if I were to bring out a camera to film as I'm like window shopping and the quality is incredible. And I really hope that this point alone encourages you if it's something that you've been thinking of 
jumping into for a while like if you've been thinking of starting a youtube channel for a long time and you just are getting held back by the idea that you need to have the best camera and the best equipment in order to start i hope that this point itself just motivates you to just create stuff make things because no matter what you'll never be a hundred percent prepared in order to create cool videos. I look back at my old videos now, it is so freaking cringy and horrible <laughs> to watch back, but it's okay because you need to start somewhere in order to continue to improve in your art and to like figure out how you want to start filming videos. You just get better over time basically. Now when so we're talking about post-production, a lot of videos do need editing software. Unless you're looking at filming something in one shot without cutting it up, that's cool, but I think further down the line, if you were going to start a YouTube channel and editing software is important for you to edit these videos and have it optimized with cute little cards or animations or text before you actually post it up on you. The first one is free, it is iMovie. I used iMovie way back at the start of my YouTube career and it's, it's great, like it provides all the functionalities that you need in order to edit a very simple video. You can add text, animation, transitions, and it's fairly easy to use. There's also a ton of tutorials on YouTube in case you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use iMovie. There's a lot of places that you can go to in order to get that education, and YouTube is amazing for that. So iMovie is great and it's also free. If you do want to pay for a video editing software, say you want to play around with more advanced functionalities, I personally use Final Cut Pro. I think Final Cut Pro is absolutely amazing. It's, in my opinion, much easier to learn and use than Adobe Premiere. So the reason that I decided to purchase Final Cut Pro versus Adobe Premiere Pro is that a, it was cheaper, a one-time fee, whereas Adobe, the entire suite is something that you would pay on a monthly basis. I actually don't know if that's still the case, so don't quote me on that, do your own research. B, it's because I don't need any crazy transitions or animations that I can't already get on Final Cut Pro. There's so many cool things that you can do on the software, I can mask, I can create different backgrounds, I can use a green screen, etc. that I don't really need the intense, well, maybe intense is an intense word. I don't really need to use Adobe Premiere in order to achieve the look and the editing style that I want to. Depending on what kind of YouTube channel, what kind of videos you want to create, I do think that it's important to do your own research to see um, the pros and cons of each of these programs and then find the one that's best suited for your needs. And then last but not least, I do suggest if you are planning on making a lot of videos and posting for a long period of time, external hard drive is always a good investment. So I currently edit with my MacBook 13 inch and oh no, no, my MacBook 15 inch. And it's great, but it does overheat and can't really take the, um, the load of the amount of videos that I'm uploading and editing on a day-to-day -day basis and so I always find having an external hard drive a good safety measure so I can keep all my footage there and it just makes things flow a lot smoother. Get an external hard drive if you plan on doing this long term. So all of that that I just mentioned are really in my opinion, the must-haves if you want to start a YouTube channel. You have something that can record videos and you need to have something that can edit these videos. So now as we go into the next portion, I'm going to be talking about your nice-to-haves. And the nice-to-haves are things that can help enhance the aesthetic of your video, how it'll look, etc. But with the preface that you don't really need these things in order to film a video and then post it on YouTube, it's really up to you if you want to spend the extra dollar to get all these other things that can help enhance how your video looks. So lighting was a huge hurdle for me when I started my YouTube channel. Prior to me moving into this beautiful space with my husband, I was living in a basement that had no natural light and so all I had to rely on was my lighting equipment that I purchased on Amazon. That really changed dramatically for me. As you can see, I currently don't use any softboxes or external lighting equipment unless it's a really gloomy day because I'm surrounded by windows and I have a ton of natural light. So this is my lighting setup. I purchased this off of Amazon years. I have the exact link that I bought this from, but I'll add a couple different links for 
lighting equipment, soft boxes, etc. in the description box below so that you can browse and see what works best for you in case you're looking. Within this, um, it actually was a very comprehensive buy. It also made me look a lot more professional when I went in to do any professional shoots or interviews because they're like, whoa, she has lighting equipment, so profesh. Um, but really, it really helped with the aesthetic of the videos because at that time too, I was filming with the DSLR, which wasn't as good as the Canon in my opinion in terms of lighting. And I have to say that ring lights are a game changer. I, I think if I purchased a ring light a lot earlier than I actually did, I would have filmed a lot more makeup videos because it does an incredible job of really lighting up your face and providing that dark bokeh effect in the background. And I really like it. I think that it, on days where it's not that gloomy, but I just want to make sure that my face is illuminated and sit down videos, ring lights are perfect. I'll also add the link for this ring light and other alternatives that you can look at in case you're looking to purchase one for yourself. Now and sound equipment is under nice to have is because if you have a good camera, or even using the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I've done talking videos as well. The sound is not as crisp, but but like currently right now when I'm filming with the Canon G7X, I'm actually not using any sound equipment whatsoever. So, say you're filming a product focus video, you don't really have your face in a lot of the footage, you can always go and film a voiceover after in post-production, either an iMovie, Final Cut or Adobe Premiere Pro, where you can control the sound a lot better. But if you're doing sit down videos like me, it really depends. Like if you are in an environment where there's not a, a lot of external sounds going on, then you can probably just get away without any sound equipment. I think you'll be fine. I think the most important thing is to get comfortable on camera and to like really find like what you like to film first. And then as you're progressing on and improving, you'll find ways to improve the quality of your video. And if adding sound equipment is something that you want to do, then have at. For me, I did purchase sound equipment because again, like I mentioned, I used to film a lot of sit down celebrity interviews. And because of that, it was usually in situations where we couldn't really control the sounds of the background. And so I have a lav mic set. It's like two little lav mics where you just pin on and it captures sound really, really well. I attach it directly to my camera and it does a phenomenal job. Besides that, I've also used a handheld recorder that doesn't do as well, but it's really good if you're just putting it on the table and you just want to capture sound so you can write notes or do transcriptions afterwards. And then if you want to get a Rode mic, for the longest time I was thinking of getting a Rode mic for my camera. The Canon G7X that I'm using right now actually does not have any way for me to input a Rode mic on the top. That's usually with the larger cameras. And so I just opted not to. Okay, so next up is the camera stand. And the reason that this is under nice to have and not must haves is because as I reflect on my earlier days of filming videos, I didn't use a camera stand because I didn't want to spend money on a camera stand and instead I used boxes upon boxes upon boxes. You have to just find your way around things and so if you have something that you can put your camera on top of as you film, try it out. There's a lot of different price points for camera stands on Amazon. The one that I'm currently using was actually a hand-me-down from my dad and so I didn't purchase it. But there are some really really cool ones on Amazon depending on how much you want to spend your budget. So I'll add a couple different links down below. I also have one of my favorite a shorter gorilla pod and I use it interchangeably with my camera as well as my cell phone depending on what I want to take. When I'm traveling I take my gorilla pod instead of my camera stand because it's just a lot more easy to carry around because of the size. I can place it into my handbag if I'm bringing a larger bag. It's just easier and more mobile to take around. If I'm doing sit down videos like my Get Ready With Me Spill The Tea series, I only really use the Gorilla Pod because I can just plop it on the table as I'm doing my makeup. Last but not least, the backdrop. So when I first started taking photos, etc., in my basement room, I purchased a backdrop from Amazon. It was a marble backdrop very light. I think it was cloth. So I would just stick it on to my bedroom wall and then just have that at the back of like any product shots that I was taking. I'm looking to add some backdrops to your videos or a green screen. All of these items can be found on Amazon. So 
yeah don't be afraid to browse and see what is out there thank you guys again so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and the tips provided will help you and motivate you to start a youtube channel of your own if i can inspire like one of you to get started and not let your fears or the fact that you don't have equipment hold you back then i have i'm happy and you can find me all over the socials i'm on instagram pinterest tiktok and of course this youtube channel twice a week if you love all things luxury do check out my luxury playlist i share all of the items in my collection if you want more videos like this where i talk about life hacks self-development tips or how you can start a channel you can watch that playlist over here as well thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video